after catching COVID, business-wise, content-wise, you know, I've had a lot of time to think in terms of what I want and how I want to redirect uh, the trajectory of my content. In the present, where we are right now, I need to show off to London, I need to sort a few things out. clip that you just watched, I was just in a meeting to bring some certain ideas to light, which I'm not allowed to mention at this moment in time. So right now I need to get ready to get changed. I'm off to London and then we're gonna we're gonna view the first property. I was thinking for a second if I was allowed to say that. Yeah, if I uh to go and view the first property and see how I feel about it. So I'll see you guys with me, show you behind the scenes of what I'm going for. Hopefully, fingers crossed I like it and I might go ahead with it. Anyways guys, I'll see you guys in London. Initially, when I looked at that property in pictures, it looked sick in person. It wasn't as great as I thought it would be. Quite spacious, a two bedroom in Wandsworth. So Wandsworth on the other side of the bridge, Elliot made a recommendation for that. So I thought I'd check it out. And the area is a little bit busy. So right next to the main road, just before the bridge, which is a nightmare because all the major traffic, all the main traffic goes past the house. So it was very, very noisy. The garden. That was a bonus, nice little garden in there. So if I were to do like workouts and uh, workout videos, that would be a great spot. But all in all, to be honest, that was probably like a six out of 10. I kind of got like uni vibes from it. <laughs> That's the vibe that I got from um, that spot. As you can see from my current spot right now, um, that's my kind of style, you know, very um, minimalistic, contem contemporary design, chic in certain areas. So this is a good spot, like for me to find this place, I was very, very lucky to find this because to find something like this in London is almost like impossible. And that's what I've been looking for. And um, some of the agents that I spoke to, they're like, mate, you're not gonna find anything like that. And I was like, okay, try me. But yeah, let's check out spot number two. So right now we're in central London, right next to Russell Square. So near Soho, Mayfair kind of area. So it's a pretty popular area. So this apartment was actually nuts. Like it was absolutely beautiful. You know, the high ceilings, huge windows. So you get plenty of natural light. So on the, in terms of the spacing, it was a little bit small, but great use of space. Again, a great interior. For me, it was definitely my style. Again, you saw the price tag, it's a bit mine, but this place was nuts. I fell in love with it, but there was a huge waiting queue and it was going pretty quick. By the time I got home, it was already gone. I was not allowed to film in the building because two people were living there, a couple, just a little backstory. They're both art collectors. And when I walked in there, I was pretty blown away by the amount of art that was in there. Again, I'm a big fan of art. I studied art in school, so I do like art and design. So it was pretty um, relatable situation. And I love what they did with this space. So they didn't let me film obviously because of that and for privacy reasons. But yeah, the space was sick, the bedroom, quite small. So the first property which I applied for, the bedroom was twice as big, but I was already gone, which sucked. But anyways, we keep moving. But yeah, this is the space. You guys let me know what you think of it. But for the price tag, like I said, it's a bit nuts, but it's definitely worth it for the area. Again, you can definitely use the space in terms of a multi-utilitarian way. You know, if you get a little office set up in there, you're pretty much good to go. Huh? 
a shout out if you made it this far into the video so we're back to business so uh i've been getting a few dms regarding stay dedicated so as i've said before this process is pretty extensive and with the manufacturer and the current climate in terms of coming out of lockdown deliveries delays have been massive but it's coming so next week i'll be dropping a video with aaron so this is gonna be a killer back workout so don't miss it guys thanks for tuning in it's a little warmer check in out i hope you enjoyed this video any questions you have hit me up in the comments section i'll be hitting you guys with an update video and a q a so do stay tuned for that and then we'll see what the next move is ciao